back at another video review for you. This time we are looking at some more KFC cassettes. Um, this is Bee Box and Bird Bomber or Bomber. I forget what they're calling. It's supposed to be Beat Box and I think Bird Bombers. We're calling him Bomber. Um, these are the Decepticon combining cassettes. There were cassettes that combined in G1. Uh, there was an Autobot cassette set and a Decepticon one. These are the Decepticon ones. They are doing the Autobot one, which is very cool. But as you can see, these are less detailed as it cas as cassettes, which is fine. But uh, you can see the reels in here. You can even see the real detail in there, much like Steel Jaw. You can see the real de detail in there, kind of. Yeah, it's painted the same color, so it's hard to see, but it's there. So yeah, we'll take a look at these one at a time. Here's B Box. So to transform him. Uh, pull the arms around, flip out the hands, fold oops, this way, fold out the feet, they are on ball joints so you do have to kind of line them up, rotate the head around, and there is B-Box, you can see he is a gorilla. Does have a cool face? Um, you can put the fists either way. You can put them more gorilla-like. Kind of like doing it like that. He does have weapons. This guy's weapons are this one and this one. Two blasters. Um, you can peg them in in this mode by plugging them into the reels. Right on the top of him. Like so. He's a gorilla with guns. Yeah, not bad. It's very similar to the G1 figure, just with ball joints. Um, so for articulation, you can rotate them in and out here. Ball joints on these feet. Ball joints on these shoulders. Um, nothing here at the wrist, at the uh, elbow. But his wrist is on a ball joint, and his hands on a ball joint, so you got rotation there, and his head can swivel somewhat. So you're not a bad little guy. We'll put him off to the side. Take a look at Bomber. So this guy is more of a pain in the butt to transform, mostly because of this stupid head. So start with just kind of come on. These are actually pegged in slightly. Right there's a peg and right there. It just kind of grips it more so than, than pegging. But you're gonna fold down the feet. Come to the wings, flip out the wings. Be very careful, these aren't very tiny ball joints. Nice and easy. Flip out the tail. And then the head. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get this on camera. But I got some tweezers. I'm going to try to... Yeah, I got it. Sweet. Get the head out. There you go. Does have a pretty good wingspan too. But uh, let's get his guns. Now his guns actually have a bit of molding on the handles that are actually the reels. So what you do is you line them up with the reels. And the very first time you do this, it's a lot harder to do it than every subsequent time. Because I guess there's uh, flash, molding flash in there. So the first time it's kind of hard, but you want to just line them up and peg them straight in. Don't come in on the side. Just always just peg them straight down. So yeah, he's a pretty cool looking bird. There you go. As far as articulation, his legs are on ball joints, so you got, but they're really small and close to the body, so there's not a lot you can do. Um, head is on a ball joint, but again, it's small and close to the body, so there's not a lot you can do. Um, this is all ball jointed, so you got a, a ball joint here, a ball joint here, a swivel here, and a ball joint at the wingtip, and a ball joint at the tail. Don't know why you need a ball joint at the tail, but you got one. So yeah, there they are together in beast mode. So like I said, these guys do combine. So to combine them up, we're going to unplug the guns from both of them. We'll do a B-Box first. 
come back to the guns in a minute. Take him, fold his head back and around. Um, fold the feet all the way down, like so, Just like that. Swing the arms down, flip the fists around, like so. Slide, you'll see there's a grooved joint right there. You want to slide up the arms on that joint, all the way up. Now you want to grip it at the shoulder, and then grip it at the forearm, and pull, but do it slowly until he can bend at that joint. Because if you don't, you'll pop it off. But it's just like a C-clip joint, and it pops right back on. So just until you can bend it. Same thing on the other side. And just flip the fist around so that everything lines up. And then we're going to take this middle section and just bend it back. And that will also that will expose these two pegs right there, and that's the connection joint. So there's his upper torso. Take bomber, fold the tail in, fold the head up, uh, fold the wingtips in. Now you want to bend it at this joint all the way around and down. So that lines up that way, um, and then you want to bend at this ball joint so it makes him a knee, and then you want to swivel this around to the fat part is front so that, that he has a foot so the wingtips are in. So again, grab it at this joint, rotate it around on that ball, bend it at that ball, and then ro rotate at that swivel. And there we go. So now, you'll see that there's a uh, like an E-shaped clip over there, and there's a corresponding hole. So you don't really want to go this way. You, what you want to do is go this way, and then push it in. And that will line everything up, and there he goes. And that's B-Bomber, I guess it's his combined name. And why don't you want to stand? In combined mode. Now for his guns, place them off to the side for a minute. And then we're going to take this gun and this one. You want the peg holes facing down. It, you can do it either way for now, but when you plug them on them, you want the peg holes facing down. Plug these together, and these are kind of small pegs. So the trick with small pegs is not to twist them. Not to twist them this way. It's just to push them straight. Straight on together. So then when you plug them on them, you're going to plug them on, there's a group, this forearm is kind of uh, like half moon shaped. So you want to slip this onto that. And then there's a clip right here that's going to go in the front of the forearm. Just like that. And this is why I said you want the pegs facing down so they just so they look better. So there we go, there he is all combined up. Now why am I having trouble posing him? There we go. Um, as far as articulation, head swivels. Um, not that far because of his feet are on the back of his head, so. Um, ball jointed shoulders, bends at the elbow pretty good. And ball jointed wrists, nothing at the waist because that's the combination port. Ball jointed hips, ball jointed knees, and swivel at below the knee. So yeah, he's a not, he's, he's a not bad. <laughs> he's not bad. Not a bad little dude. Um, if you do like the, if you do like cassettes, especially combining cassettes, if that tickles your fancy, pick him up. There's at least three different versions. I'm about to show you one more version, uh, and there's also a shattered glass version, which is the Autobot colors, which I wouldn't mind getting my hands on, but I'm not going crazy to find them. But uh, this guy is definitely, definitely pretty nice. The plastic quality is, you know, on par with everything else. It's definitely, you know, high quality. You know, it's not it's not a bad little set so if you have the opportunity i say pick him up so yeah this has been the video review for kfc toys b bomber i think that's his name b bomber combining decepticon cassettes